In today's video, we'll be doing a comparison between autoblogging.ai and wordplay.ai. Both of these tools are AI copywriters which allow you to generate full-length articles in just a couple of clicks. Essentially, all you have to do is enter your keyword or the specific topic in which you're writing about within their built-in templates and you'll be able to generate a full-length blog post. At the time of recording this video, both of these tools have a lifetime deal. You can get a lifetime deal from Wordplay from its website, while autoblogging.ai has a lifetime deal on AppSumo and it's currently completely free. So you don't have to pay anything um, to get started using autoblogging.ai and for that free plan, you'll get five credits each month. So each month you'll be able to generate five new pieces of content or articles using autoblogging.ai for completely free. And the basic lifetime deal for wordplay starts at $99 and that gives you 7,500 words each month. You can upgrade to $200 um, one-time payment and get 15,000 words per month. So let's go ahead and do a deep dive and do a comparison between wordplay and autoblogging.ai and figure out which one of these tools is better at creating long form articles in just a couple of clicks. Just before we continue this review, I wanna let you know that I recently recorded a full 30 minute in-depth training on how I went from zero to over 10K per month from this YouTube channel. So if you wanna go ahead and check out that free training, I'll leave a link below. So right off the bat, we can see that there is a big pricing differences between autoblogging.ai and wordplay.ai. On one hand, you get a free plan, but you only get five um, credits each month. While on wordplay, you are paying a little bit more. You probably have to get the $200 plan because 7,500 words really runs out very quickly, especially if you're creating a lot of content. And at this time, you can't stack the deal for autoblogging.ai. You can only go ahead and get the free plan. The only way to get more credits on autoblogging is by subscribing to their monthly plans, which starts at $19 for 20 articles. For $50, you can get 60 articles, and for $100, you can get 150 articles per month. So again, not too expensive when you compare that with other article generation tools in the market, but it would be nice if they had a lifetime deal which allows you to get more than five articles per month. So those are the differences in pricing between autoblogging.ai and wordplay.ai. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the features and the templates and the type of blog post content we can expect when using these two tools. If you wanna grab a plan for wordplay or autoblogging.ai, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. Once you have a plan for wordplay.ai, this is what your dashboard will look like. You have a couple of different ways in which you can generate content using these built-in templates. And if we head over to autoblogging.ai, again, we can see a couple of different templates in which we can use to generate content. So we have the article title, we have the bulk generate, and you have the pro mode. And on wordplay, we have the title mode, we have the bulk mode, we have a topic mode, and we have the outline mode. Between both tools, the most comparable templates are the article title on autoblogging.ai and the title mode. Essentially, all you have to do is enter a title for the blog post in which you would like to create, and the AI will generate that full length article for you. For example, if you wanted to write an article about the best affordable watches for beginners, just go ahead and enter that title and then click generate article. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter the same title in wordplay that I entered on autoblogging.ai and go ahead and click submit. And as you can see, the AI will start creating that blog post for us. And it probably took about 45 seconds to a minute to get this article from autoblogging.ai. But for the most part, both of these tools are very quick. So I'm happy with the speed that I got back from both of them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the blog post in which we got back from wordplay.ai. Okay, so what are the best affordable watches for beginners? What is an affordable watch? How to buy an affordable watch or top recommended watches under $100, under $200, under $300, under $400. Okay, pretty good. And wrapping up is an affordable watch for you. Okay, so pretty decent blog post just from taking a quick glance at it. I just want to go ahead and see how many words were in here. So about 1100 words we got back from wordplay.ai. And if you wanted to go ahead and edit that, you can hit edit and you'd be able to edit that blog post. But for the most part, we got a pretty decent blog post. I'd give this probably about a seven out of 10 in terms of quantity and quality. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the blog post in which you got back from autoblogging.ai. So again, what are the best affordable watches for beginners? Affordable watches for beginners, what to look for. Okay, so it kind of tells you 
what to look for when you're trying to buy a nice watch if you're on a budget. The best affordable watches for beginners are top 10 picks. Okay, so I like this. We actually get some specific um, brands in which you can buy. How to spot a good affordable watch for a beginner. So it kind of tells you what to look for. So again, five more tips when choosing an affordable watch. Do your research, da da da. The best affordable watches for beginners under $100. Okay, so we get a similar um, subtopic here on autoblogging.ai under $200 as well, okay. We also get some luxury picks here, so if you're looking for something a little bit more expensive, um, you can go ahead and take a look at that as well. The best affordable watches for beginners, some vintage picks, okay, so very in-depth. We also get a nice FAQ section here, I like this. What are the best affordable watches for beginners? Okay, so that's pretty cool. It actually has the questions here and then the answers right below that, so very cool um, and very, relevant information here that you can use if you're creating a blog post about the best affordable watches. So, so pretty happy um, with this blog post which we got back from autoblogging.ai. Um, I would say just from glancing at it, it seems to be a little bit more in depth and has a little bit more of a better quality in terms of the content. But let's go ahead and uh, see how much words were in this specific blog post. This blog post by autoblogging.ai was over 2,300 words. So a big difference in terms of the quantity in which we got back. And I also really like um, how in depth this article was from autoblogging.ai. So I'd probably give this an 8.5 out of nine in terms of quality, in terms of quantity, and just overall how um, good the content is that we got back. It's not just only a very in-depth and high quality blog post, it's also a very long blog post, which um, doesn't really need much more editing. Uh, maybe there's some other information which you can add on this to really sort of buff it up. But for the most part, this is a blog post in which you can just go ahead and feel confident posting it on your blog or website. Another way in which you can generate content on Wordplay and autoblogging.ai is by using their topic mode. So this template is really good at generating multiple articles at once. Essentially, all you have to do is enter the topics for those articles within this section and the AI will generate those articles for you. So for instance, if we had three blog posts in which we like to generate, just go ahead and enter those topics in here. So for this example, we'll be generating a blog post about the best yoga poses to start as a beginner. What is AI and how does it affect our future? and how to raise money as a new startup. So let's copy this and head back over to autoblogging.ai and we'll use the bulk generate feature. So again, all you have to do is enter the article titles, each title in a new line. Okay, let's go ahead and do it like this. And once you're happy with your topic, you can also go ahead and change your language. So I don't think that you're able to do this on autoblogging.ai. I think this is strictly for English, but it is nice that on Wordplay, you have options to generate content in different languages. But for this example, I'll leave it to English and go ahead and click submit. And let's go ahead and do the same thing on autoblogging.ai. Both of these tools are really quick at generating content. So wordplay.ai was a little bit quicker, but again, not a big difference between the two tools. Let's go ahead and take a look at the articles in which we got back from wordplay.ai. So the first article was the best yoga poses to start as a beginner. Okay, so fairly short um, blog post that we got back here. The best yoga poses for beginners. What is yoga? How to find the right pose, the benefits five best poses for beginners. And the whole article was a little bit over a thousand words. So again, a very basic article that we got back here from Wordplay, I would probably give this a six out of 10. Um, it definitely needs to be a little bit more longer and more in depth, but let's go ahead and compare this to what we got back from autoblogging.ai. So when your articles are finished generating on autoblogging.ai, when using the bulk mode, you have to go ahead and download it as a zip file and then you have to open it. The only issue that I have is that the formatting is a little bit weird because it includes the coding for the H2. So you have to go ahead and manually um, sort of fix that because it just looks weird, obviously, if the coding is in there. And I'm not sure if that's only for me because of the applications which I'm using to open it, but it's a little bit annoying to have that. But regardless, let's go ahead and take a look at the content in which we got back. So here's the blog post in which we got back from autoblogging.ai, talks about what yoga is, the best yoga poses, the benefits of yoga, the best yoga poses for beginners, the best yoga props for beginners, the best yoga maps, the best yoga mats, the best yoga apps, um, so we get a lot of detailed information here that would be very relevant if you're a new beginner um, starting yoga, the best yoga retreat. So again, um, a lot more in depth and a lot more 
um, higher quality content that we're getting back here from autoblogging.ai. And also this content is a lot longer. This article is over 1600 words, which is a lot more than what we saw from the article in which we got back from wordplay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second article, which is what is AI and how is it going to affect our future? So what is AI? Types of AI? Why is AI so hard? Some benefits of AI, disadvantages, how to train an AI agent and final words. Okay, that one's a little bit odd. Not sure what they're talking about there. But overall, let's see how long this content was because it seems kind of short. Again, about a thousand words. And here's the article in which we got back from autoblogging.ai. Again, it talks about what is AI, but it's very, very in-depth when you compare this to what we got back from wordplay. It talks about the history of AI, how AI is being used today, the future of AI, the ethical considerations of AI, the impact of AI on society, the impact of AI on the economy, the impact of AI on the environment. So again, really in-depth information here. This is more of an essay rather than a blog post because you get a lot of really in-depth information here in which you can use. So I'm very impressed by the quality and by the quantity of information that we got back. In total, this blog post was over 1700 words. So again, a lot more words when we compare that to what we got back from wordplay and not only was it just a long blog post it was very very in-depth so if we were to compare the quality and the quantity of content in which we can expect from these two ai copywriters i would definitely have to go with autoblogging.ai over word hero for every single example that we did I found that the articles were a lot better written from autoblogging.ai when compared to Word Hero. So if you're deciding between the two, I would recommend going with autoblogging.ai over Wordplay. You can get started with getting the free plan and starting to generate some content within your own specific niche. And if you like the tool, you can go ahead and then subscribe to a paid plan. But if you want to try Wordplay for yourself, I'll leave a link for both autoblogging.ai and Wordplay in the description below this video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.